The Global Substitutions in PSCAD has a new look and feel. To illustrate some of the new features, we'll use the voltage divider example that comes with PSCAD. I have modified three of the parameters in this project to use global substitutions. Here, we're using $F to substitute F for frequency. And here, I'm using $R source for the impedance of this source. And finally here, I'm substituting R load for a resistance of the load. Now let's view the global substitutions. Go to View, Panes, and select Global Substitutions. You can see that although I'm using global substitutions in the project, there are none defined yet. So let's go ahead and define some. It's as easy as clicking the Add Global Substitutions button. If you'd like to remove some, you can simply delete them. You can edit each global substitution by simply clicking on the table. You can see here that now that I've defined the globals, they are substituted into the circuit. Since this is a table, you can simply select the global substitutions and copy them. And now we can go to an external program such as Excel and we can paste them. These globals can be managed externally and then brought back into PSCAD. An alternative way to manage global substitutions externally is to use the import and export functions. So you can save all the global substitutions here to a CSV file. And you can import them and replace them or import them and append them. The last thing I want to show you is the global substitution sets. You can create multiple sets of your global substitutions. When viewing all sets, you can simply modify each cell here. Now that we have multiple sets defined, we can simply switch between them. And you can see their values reflected in the circuit. All of these settings will be saved with the project, and this is a new fantastic way to have multiple sets of global substitutions and manage them. We hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.